Kristen wants to know how far um, she should take exercise before fatigue sets in and how she can monitor this. Um, great question, great question. Um, so this is a question um, during my time at Shepherd Center that we often were asked in the clinic. So a couple of ways that you can monitor this. Um, one um, is finding out what your threshold is. So it's not necessarily a tool that you can use, but it's more of a, a feeling internally, um, how you would feel um, once you find what your threshold is. Now, when I say your threshold, finding that would be when you're doing um, resistance training or aerobic exercise, whether it's in a clinic with you know supervised exercise with your exercise physiologist or you're at a commercial gym, you want to pay close attention to what you're feeling the next day, which may sometimes feel like a, a pseudo exacerbation. Um, you, you might have symptoms of your body feeling heavy, um, maybe a little pain, you may be very uh, lethargic and tired. So that would let you know the day before that you potentially have kind of reached your threshold. Um, another way that you can use it, I talked about this briefly um, in my presentation, is your RPE or your rate of perceived exertion. Um, so what that is, um, as, as I spoke uh, briefly, is you want to feel kind of when you're reaching your limit, it's like a talk test, right? So if you're able to kind of carry on a conversation casually with, you know, your, your exercise partner or whoever you may be with, that lets you know, well, you know, I can still go, I'm doing okay. If you get to a point where uh, talking becomes a little bit difficult, um, it gets a little bit harder to catch your breath, um, then you kind of know you kind of reach that that eight or nine or that seven, eight, nine on that rate of perceived exertion scale. So I would say there's two ways. One is kind of testing the limits on your own, um, which is trial and error. Um, and kind of finding your threshold. But again, you'll look for the pseudo exager exacerbation. It's not an exacer uh, actual exacerbation, so just keep that in mind. And then two, kind of using that RPE scale that we discussed um, um, discussed in my talk um, and just kind of finding out what works best for you. That's really great advice. I think it's important yeah, for us to know how to become more self-aware and listen to our body. Absolutely. And I want and I, I want to just add, I'm glad you said that. I want to just add that no one, you know, doctor, your doctor included, no one knows your body better than yourself. So that's why I recommend, like I said, testing, testing your threshold. So absolutely.